In this Lords of the Fallen video, I bring you the location of six more amazing armor sets. Now, I've already posted a video showcasing 15 plus others. I will link that in the video description. This is kind of a continuation on that video. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ, and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So there are tons of armor sets in this game, but the ones I cover today are the ones you simply loot. These are not tied to any certain boss remembrance, so let's get into it guys. And first up we have the Prol armor set. This one is just laying around by the vestige point waiting for you to come and grab. So from the lower Calrath Alehouth vestige of Lydia the Num, follow the short path and grab this armor set guys. Next up we have the Ravager armor set. This one requires you to collect an item and then hand that item into Dunmire back at Skyrest. So again, from the lower cow of a health vestige of Lydia the Numb, follow this path I take on screen now to get this item. It's called the Ravager Gregory Rosary and it is this simple. So once you have this item guys, head back to Skyrest and then simply hand it into Dunmire. A Ravager's Rosary. Now if it doesn't show up for purchase straight away, go to the Vestige, rest and then come back and you should be able to purchase it. Okay so next up guys we have the Sovereign Armor Set. This one again is a simple one, you can just come and grab on your merry way. So from the Sunless Skin Hoist Vestige of Catherine, follow this path I take, making sure you pull that lever I'm hitting in this video. Then guys, just progress on and grab this armor set. Now there is a couple enemies in your way, you may have to take them out, but if you're quick enough, you can get around them to loot this chest.
Next up guys, we have the Putrid Child Armor Set. So from the Abbey of Hallowed Sisters Vestige of Rosamond, follow this path I take. It's quite a trek and there are enemies in your way, but for the most part, you can quite easily run past them. Next up guys we have the Dale armor set, I believe that's pronounced, I'm probably wrong, I normally am. Okay so for this one it's quite a trek, I won't lie to you, and you have to open up this gate to progress to grab this thing. This takes place in the PF of the Chill Curse Vestige of Svornil. So when you get here, if this gate is a lot for you, just follow the lad up which when you face the vestige is on your left. Follow the path all the way around and you'll come back on yourself to just above this platform and then the lever is here for you to pull to open up this gate. Once the gate is open, follow the path I take on screen now. Now there are enemies in your way but again for the most part you can run past them.
And lastly today guys, we have the Radiant Armor Set. This one is obtained from the Beacon Tower you have to cleanse after defeating the boss of Reinhold the Emured, who is found at the bottom of the Tower of Penance. So upon you taking his boss out, he drops a key called the Tancred's Key. You have to use this key to travel up the lift to the very top. This means using that up lever twice. The first time you use it, it will stop midway and go up again. Now in this tower at the very top, go into that humble realm and then go down a slight platform down these steps and this armor is here for you to grab, it's that simple. And there we have it guys, six more amazing armor sets you do not want to miss. Guys if you did enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out, if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.